How does air pollution impact children's health? Most people, when they think of air pollution, they think of respiratory diseases and asthma. But air pollution affects every part of the body. It causes diseases in the heart, causes cancers and mental health disorders. If you look at, say, the poster child for air pollution in big cities, let's say Delhi, children are not small adults. Their immune systems are less well-developed. They have a smaller body surface area. So that means the same amount of pollution in a much smaller body is present at a higher concentration. So the effect of air pollution can, can occur at any time. In fact, it even starts before birth. We know that air pollution causes infertility in both men and women and is implicated in about 20% uh, of infertility cases. Air pollution is associated with adverse outcomes in pregnancy, things like preterm delivery, infant mortality, and birth problems such as low birth weight or pulmonary artery disease of, and valve defects, altered immune system, and a risk of vitamin D deficiency. As children grow, we see that air pollution is associated with a higher risk of developing autism. Once they reach school age, that's when the effect of air pollution is easily seen. You know that air pollution affects kids' academic performance, it reduces grades, it can reduce short-term as well as long-term memory, it can cause difficulties in concentration, and it can even reduce your likelihood of getting admitted to an elite university. If we move from academics to athletics, we see that air pollution causes bad effects here as well. It can reduce children's lung capacity by up to 14%, especially if they live in a high pollution area, and that obviously affects future sporting performance. For the higher athletes, it can affect things like speed, agility, and endurance. Now, there are a couple of things that you can do, so not all is lost. Remember that pollution tends to be highest from sunset up until about two hours after sunrise, maybe around eight o'clock for those of us in India. That means that if you're gonna exercise outdoors, do it after eight o'clock and before 6 p.m. If you're indoors, make sure you have a well-ventilated space and you might want to use air purifiers, you might want to use plants, but the best way to reduce air pollution is to work with your local governments because if they think that you don't care, then they don't care. And it's only when we get active in reducing pollution, reducing pollution at the source, that your children and our children will breathe clean air.